Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, George Martin, and my wife and I are the event supervisors for Simple Machines. Um, we first became supervisors uh, for elementary doing Simple Machines back in 98. We took about a three year break from it, and they asked us to uh, pick up the event again in 2014. So, <laughs> We've been at this a while. First thing that I will tell everyone is that um, nothing has actually has changed in this event since last year. Uh, so uh, this will be mostly an overview for the people who are new to the event and will uh, entertain questions at the end. So. To begin with, uh, all of you should know how to find the event page. Uh, going to the uh, elementary, the uh, Macomb Science Olympiads elementary page. Uh, use the drop down menu to access the events page. Next slide. It's the event page and it highlights the uh, a link there to get to the event rules. Uh, this will get you to the official rules for the event. Nikita, can you advance to the next slide? Okay, next slide here. The, uh, I wanted to highlight three particular links on the web page. Uh, the first one there says 2022 event coach training. Um, that was there a week ago. It's not there today. I don't know why, but what it's uh, what it was was simply the event handout that I used to give out at these things. I'll have to check and see if it's still available or if they want to put it back up or not. Um, the next one there where it says sample questions, I highly recommend you download this. Uh, this was a doc, uh, like 10 page document I put together uh, explaining how each of the questions will work for the event. Uh, the third one there is um, I did a workshop in 2014 for this event, and that is the PowerPoint slides from that workout or from that workshop. Okay, next slide. Okay, under training videos, there is a video there from the 2014 workshop. Uh, this is still useful. Go watch it if you want. Uh, <laughs> not mandatory. Okay, next slide. Uh, finally, on that web page, or not finally, but on that web page, there's also a list of frequently asked questions that you can look at. Uh, and there is a link at the bottom of the page uh, for you to click on if you have a question that hasn't already been addressed. If you submit a question there, I will get that will come to me. I will uh, have an answer for it and it will get posted up. Uh, sent to you and post it up. Next question slide. Okay, this event uses a custom zip grade form. There is a link on the event page for you to take a look at that, download, cop, print out samples for the kids to use, that kind of thing. Next slide. Okay, I left this slide in from last year. Uh, at this point, I really don't know it, if or what any COVID protocols might be. Um, I will say right off the bat that, uh, you know, I will never discourage a child from using a mask. Uh, use of hand sanitizers, I will encourage. Uh, you know, we'll find out as we get closer to the event what uh, protocols are going to be required. Uh, so, you know, pay attention to the website and see what's going on. All right, next slide. So the format of the event is this is a station event. There are 10 stations that each child must complete. At the county event, because I need to be able to handle up to 20 teams at a time, there will be two complete identical sets of those 10 stations. Uh, the students will be allocated two minutes per station. 
and there will be 10 questions per station, meaning there are 100 questions, which uh, will carry 150 points, and I'll explain those a little as we go on. Most of the stations will have an object or tool provided. Uh, I will, some object will be at that station. The students are, are expected to be able to identify which simple machine or machines that object or tool represents. Um, one of those stations will have a frame containing a pulley setup, and one station is dedicated to inclined planes. Uh, there will be no object, just pictures, because it's not practical to make a so a an inclined plane uh, setup that will fit on the tables that we usually have to use. Next slide. Okay. The test questions will be placed in document protectors and they will be taped down to the table at each station. That way they don't walk. <laughs> they don't get lost. Uh, I will provide scratch paper and rulers at each station. Uh, I will then collect scratch paper at the end of the session. Students should bring pencils, not pens. It's really hard to correct an answer if you've done it in ink. Um, the answer sheets are going to be graded optically. So stray marks on the sheet can cause problems. Pencil, stray pencil marks at least can be erased. And finally, no cell phones or calculators will be allowed. Um, calculators, they really just won't need them. Okay, next slide. All questions are multiple choice. Now that may include yes, no, or true, false. So the multiple choices may only be two choices, but uh, <laughs> that's, uh, Entirely, uh, so just so they know. Okay, uh, we will use the zip grade answer sheets. Um, we will pre-print the, ans the answer sheets with the team name and team number. Uh, if your school has both an A team and a B team, uh, make sure the kids know which ones they are and which team number they are so they get the right answer sheet. Um, and as mentioned before, you can uh, download uh, blank sheets for them to practice with. Next. Okay, so the first five questions, these are all one point questions. And the intent is of these questions is to have the the students identify the simple machine. Now, the machine they get uh, that they have at their station may be a compound machine. It may be, you know, a combination of two or more simple machines. Um, they may get two varying sizes of the same machine for comparison purposes. Um, they may also simply find a picture that needs to be matched to the appropriate simple machine. Um, note, uh, if I need to do break ties, I start with the first five questions at each station. I use those as the tiebreaker. Next, okay. The second five questions are all intended to test their knowledge of concepts. These are all two point questions. Um, Typical questions, they will may be asked to estimate the mechanical advantage. Uh, by the way, and for elementary science Olympiad, mechanical advantage is always ideal. We don't, we don't have friction. <laughs> uh, I reserve the right to use either English or metric measurements, and that in order to keep numbers a whole whole number or simple fractions. Um, under 
estimating mechanical advantage, they may also be asked to identify the correct formula. So I say the uh, object is a lever, they may be asked to choose from a list of formulas which is the correct one for calculating mechanical advantage of the lever. Um, measurements, uh, this typically, they'll use the ruler provided. These are typically a measurement of the length of the effort arm or the load arm. And uh, I reserve the right to select either English or metric in order to keep them as close to whole numbers as possible. Next. Other things that they will be asked to do are as to identify identify changes or trade-offs to force, distance, speed, or direction. By this, I mean um, they may be asked to say, okay, does this machine change the direction of force? Does this machine increase the force? Does it increase, does it change the distance? Does it change the speed? This is the kind of uh, uh, changes I'm talking about. Uh, comparison, uh, they may be asked to, uh, for different sizes or configurations of the same machine. Um, a common question here is going to be one that if I, if you change one dimension of the machine, uh, how is that going to change the mechanical advantage? Okay. Um, students will be asked to identify the class of a lever, first, second, or third class lever, so they should know those. And um, they may also be asked questions concerning uh, work, you know, whether a device uh, do, uh, performs more work than a similar one. Uh, work, by the way, is defined as force times distance. Okay, next. On the day of the event, this is the sequence of how things are going to work. I, uh, students will wait in the hallway. They'll be greeted out there. I will hand out uh, and distribute the answer sheets, give some basic instructions, and then admit them to the room. Uh, coaches and parents, unfortunately, are not going to be allowed into the room to, as observers. I will give additional instructions inside. And then we will begin the uh, the event. Uh, students will move between the stations. Uh, as I said, 10 stations, two minutes per station, so approximately 20 minutes for that to happen. Uh, then answer sheets will be collected. Students will be told to gather their personal items and they'll be dismissed. I have a total of 30 minutes to get them in the room and back out again. So, okay, next slide. Okay, preparing your students. Here's what I recommend. Uh, first of all, review that sample question document I, I posted up. Um, some resources you can use. Uh, check with your elementary school science, uh, teachers. Uh, check, this, check their science books. Um, simple machines are typical, depending on which publishers science books they're using uh simple machines is typically addressed in grade four but that may vary um but i highly recommend that what you do is gather up a lot of common objects such as tools kitchen implements that type of thing and have the children or have the youth uh students handle these objects and try to identify the simple machines and how they're used. Um, you can supplement this with pictures, um, talk about class of levers, that type of thing. Practice estimating mechanical advantage. You know, discuss the, those trade-offs on how, such as how a machine changes force, direction, distance, or speed. Next. Um, Lots of library books out there. One I highly recommend is one called The Way Things Work by David McCauley. Uh, it's 
has, it's had three editions, but frankly, the simple machine section hasn't changed since the first edition. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. Uh, there's plenty of other uh, books readily available in public libraries, that type of thing. Uh, if you go to the internet, uh, definitely search on simple machines. Uh, you may want, it, it's not as bad as it used to be. Uh, I suggest you add the word science to your search terms because there is a simple machines record label and a simple machine software company. <laughs> so <laughs> those can uh, infect your um, search term, your search results. But you might also want to search, you will also want to search on the individual machine, search on lever, search on pulley, search on wheel and axle. Um, there are a lot of links out there available for videos, games, worksheets. Uh, I've found teacher lesson plans, lots of things out there. So continue. Um, all right, so district tournaments. There will be three district tournaments. Uh, the Lands Cruise and South Macomb districts are going to be combined this year. So there'll only be the three. Uh, I will be at all three of them. So uh, they'll be able to see, get um, the experience, you know, exactly the way I'm going to run it uh, for the county. So these are good things to do. Um, for Utica, they've chosen to break up into two evenings. At this point, I don't know which evening I'll be on. So watch the schedule. Okay. All right. Are there any questions at this point? If anyone has any questions, um, I'm on the phone with him, so I'll ask him and then relay the answers back to you. Okay, so just I just had one. So when I was looking at some of the information for levers, there's different terminology for it. Can he be clear as to what terminology is going to be used for the students, like load or resistance or effort and force, you know, kind of what? I just don't want to be using the wrong terms. No, okay, I, I understand what she's saying. Um, Probably the best thing to do is go to the uh, the uh, sample question handout that I've got because I use the terminology used in that handout is the terminology I will use throughout the event. Okay, thank you. Were you able okay. to hear that okay, Jessica? Yep. <laughs> All right, great. Does anyone yeah. else have any other questions? I have one. Uh so when I was looking at this uh, practice, I mean, sample questions on the website, uh, all the topics that is inside this packet, does the one make, we have to make sure the kids are ready for those these topics only or anything else beside this, are they gonna, they have to know? Like, do they have to know anything and everything about these things? <laughs> No, I mean, like, just like a inclined plane, wedge, lever, like all these the topics that they have to learn or anything else beside this. Like, it, it could be anything. That's my question. Okay. For this event, we have said we're going to use these six simple machines. That's it. Okay. Okay. You, you notice there's no reference to gears. <laughs> we're not getting into that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Okay, all right. It doesn't seem like there's any other questions. Um, so I'll stop the recording here and everything will be posted on the website as well. Uh, George, is there anything else that you would like to add? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I think we're good. We're, hopefully, we'll not have these um, audio problems next time. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right, then.
I'll hang up and close off the meeting. Thank you. Right. Thank you.